Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's me, Apostle Esther Sanctius. Pray that you are having an amazing day. Uh, we come your way uh, with YouTube. I want to thank all of my uh, subscribers, all the listeners, all the viewers, those of you that are sharing, liking, and subscribing. Thank you so, so very much. Um, to my new subscribers, my goodness, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much uh, for uh, joining, coming on board with me. I appreciate that. Those of you that are sharing, oh my goodness, let me send you a big virtual hug uh, for sharing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ um, through YouTube or Facebook or however you're sharing it. God bless you. Um, today, I just want to uh, pray for our children. Uh, I, I really want to pray for our children on today. Um, so this is going to be a video that is, is purpose for praying for our children for the beginning of this year. So Father, I thank you uh, for your word. I thank you, Lord, for salvation. I thank you, Lord God, uh, for the truth of your word. I thank you that we are empowered through your word. And so Father, as I um, come together today with uh, every believer that is connecting, that is watching this video, um, that has children or grandchildren or nieces, nephews. Um, uh, some of us are dealing with uh, foster children. Some of us are dealing with children that, that we blended, um, children that we've now adopted. So, Father, I cover all children all over the world. Those children, Lord God, that, that are just dealing with crises, that are dealing with issues. Father, I release the word of faith. Your word said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. So Lord, I pray covenant protection because your word says in Psalm 91 that when we dwell in the secret place of the most high God, that we shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. So Lord, I thank you that your covenant protection is covering our children, our sons, our daughters, our grandchildren, uh, even our college students. Um, Lord, those of us that are students of the word, I pray for us, I pray for the nation of children, oh God, that we will become uh, uh, the believer, that we will come to know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that we will know you as our Lord and our Savior, that we will live a saved life, that we will live in, a, in an abundant life, that we will live a prosperous life, oh God. So Father, I ask that you wash us in your blood and that you fill us with your love, that you redeem us on today, oh God. So Father, I extend, Lord God, the plan of salvation to every person, every child that's not saved. Lord God, that they will receive you as Lord and Savior, because you said if we confess with our mouth and believe with our heart, that Lord Jesus, that you would redeem us back to you. So Father, we need a Savior on today. We need a hiding place on today. We need that secret place of the Most High God. So Father, I cover our children in the name of Jesus. I cover them when they don't even know that they need to be covered. Some of our children, oh God, are dealing with drugs and alcoholism. They're dealing with uh, identity crisis. They're dealing with homosexuality. And, and, and Father, they're just uh, uh, indulging in, in, in religious um, philosophies that they know nothing about and connecting themselves. So Father, we break the curse on today. We break that cycle in the name of Jesus and we plead the blood of Jesus over our children that they come back to the cross of Calvary. I thank you, Lord God, that your blood will wash them on today. Cleanse their minds, cleanse their hearts, oh God. We come against every force that is not like you and we annihilate the plan of the enemy right now, oh God, and we release the word of faith over their lives. You said in your word, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And I thank you, Lord God, that they will adhere to the word of God on today. Lord God, that they will submit and commit their hearts, their minds, their lives to you. Lord God, that they will begin to change the things that they're seeing, the views that they're seeing, and begin to see the view of Calvary, that they will know that you are Lord and Savior. You are the Redeemer. You are the kinsman's Redeemer, O oh God. And Father, we call our children back to the altar. We call them back to the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. 
We call them, Lord God, from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light on today. So, Father, we release the word on today. We release the authority of your word on today. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we call them to walk up right before you. We call them to know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We call them to know you as their redeemer. We call them to know you as their Lord and Savior, O God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we break the curse right now. Lord God, of all the false images, all the false teachings, oh God, and we bring them back to the Bible. We bring them back to the truth of your word, oh God, because there's deliverance in your word. There's healing in your word. There's authority in your word, oh God. So Lord, we change the mindset in the name of Jesus, because your word said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. So father, we decree that our children are new on today. They're new in their mindset. They're new Lord God in their attitudes. They're new Lord God in their obedience. So God, so Lord God, we marry them to the authority of your word in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that the altar will come back in our homes, oh God. Lord, I thank you that our parents will come back to teach their children the word of God, that our children, Lord God, will begin to walk into the obedience and the authority of your word. I thank you for stirring up every mother, every father, every grandparent. Lord God, that we will get in a hurry to bring our children back to the place of worship, to the kingdom of God. Lord, nothing takes priority of our relationship with you. I thank you, Lord God, that your spirit will draw them back to the cross. Hallelujah. That your spirit will draw them back to Calvary, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we're in need of a savior. We're in need of God on today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we are creating false gods and false images, oh God. But I bring us back to the cross of Calvary. Lord, I loose the bands of the wicked in the name of Jesus. And Father, I decree freedom in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, because your word said where there is a liberty, oh God, Lord, then we are free in you. So I thank you, Lord God, that we are in a free place of worship, that we are in a free atmosphere, oh God, and whom the sun set free. It's free indeed. So Lord, free the minds of our children. Free the spirits of our children, oh God. Bring them back to the cross of Calvary. Loose the bands of the wicked right now in the name of Jesus. We take authority over every file, every unclean spirit. And God, we wash them in the word of God. We wash them in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we decree that our children are whole and complete, nothing missing and nothing broken. Lord God, we silence that enemy that is trying to confuse their identity. Lord, you called us and created in your image and you created us in your likeness, oh God. So help us that even when we look in the mirror, that we see you being reflected out of our lives, oh God. In the name of Jesus, bring back the honor of worship. Bring back the honor of your word, oh God. Bring back the honor of the love for your word. In the name of Jesus, Father, I bless you for doing a new thing in our children. God, call them to come back to the altar, oh God. Call them to come back to you. Call them to come back to the place of Zion, oh God, where we cry loud and spare not. In the name of Jesus, stir up their hearts, oh God. Stir up their minds, oh God, that they will begin to call on the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that they will have a love for the word of God. Penetrate their hearts, oh God. Penetrate their minds, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we break the stronghold of the strong man on the day. And we, re we release the strongness of your word. We release the power of your word. We release the authority of your word, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, it's time for us to bring our children back to you. To bring them back to the cross of Calvary, oh God. 
in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we decree and we declare with fervency on the day that the that the band is loosened, oh God, and you begin to yoke them up. Yoke them up, oh God, with the power of your word, the power to believe you, the power to trust you, the power to serve you, and the power to live for you, oh God. I thank you, oh God, that we're silencing every voice, oh God, but the voice of the true and living God. Yes, oh God, we're bringing our children back to their rightful place in the kingdom that rightful place of peace oh god that rightful place of understanding that rightful place of worship oh god in the name of jesus Father, I thank you, Lord God, that they will begin to acknowledge you. They will begin to feel you, oh God, late in the midnight hour when the tormentor is trying to torment them. Oh God, they will begin to sense Roshiyam Dararabosaya. They will begin to sense your presence, oh God. They will begin to sense you calling them to a place of true worship, oh God. I bless you for it right now. I thank you for doing a new thing in our children, oh God. God. Shake their spirits, oh God. Shake their minds, oh God. Let them understand they need a relationship with you on today, oh God. You creating them a new heart. Yes, oh God. Creating them a new mind of worship, oh God. I bless you for it now in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you're loosening the band of the wicked, oh God, and now you're yoking them back to the cross of Calvary. Oh, it happened at the cross of Calvary. It is at the cross where we see you, oh God. It is at the cross where we receive you, oh God. It is at the cross that you wash away our sins. It is at the cross that you make us whole again. God, that's what it is. Our children need to be made whole, oh God. Lord, some of them are broken. Some of them have been molested. Some of them have been disturbed, oh God. But oh God, you can make them whole again. You are Lord God, the creator. You are Jehovah Jireh. You will provide for us. You are El Elyon. You are the most high God. So God, you are God over every God. So I thank you for moving on today. I thank you for making them whole on, to, uh, on today, oh God. I thank you that you are El Shaddai. You're the double-breasted one. We can lay our head on your breast, oh God, and you will make us whole and complete. Nothing missing and nothing broken. I bless you for it right now. You're Jehovah Shalom. You're the Lord God, our peace. You give us peace, oh God, in the midst of every storm. You said in your word, oh God, that you would keep us in perfect peace. If we keep our mind stayed on you. So God we keep our mind stayed on you. In the midst of chaos. In the midst of turmoil. We keep our mind stayed on you oh God. You are shalom. You are the Lord God of peace. You silence every voice. But every voice of the true and living God. I bless you for it right now. In the name of Jesus. I bless you Lord God. That you are Jehovah to sick anew. You are the Lord God, our righteousness. You have deemed us righteous, oh God. I bless you for it right now. I've been made righteous through the word of God, through the blood of God. So I decree on the day that our children have been made righteous, oh God. I bless you for it now. I give you praise, oh God. I thank you for the angels that encamp round about us, oh God. I thank you that your angels will take charge over us, oh God. Your angels will watch over us, God, when we don't even know that they're there. Lord, that they make their presence known in the lives of our children. Oh, God, we need you to move on today like never before, oh God. We silence every pedophile. We silence every person that will try to snatch up our children. God, and we bring them back to the kingdom of God. We bring them back, oh God, to the place of righteousness. We bring them back, oh God, to the place of worship. We bring them back to know that you love them with an everlasting love. So Father, I bless you for it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
I thank you for the peace of God that is moving through this video. Lord, somebody will hear this voice and they will be saved, oh God. They will hear that we are crying aloud and spare not, oh God, because it's a time for us to bring our children back to the cross of Calvary. It's time to bring them back, oh God, to a place of worship. So I bless you, Lord God, for healing their minds, healing their souls, healing their bodies, oh God. Some of them have such wounded, deep scars, but God, you are the healer. You are the Lord God that heals us. You are the Lord God that delivers us, oh God. You forgive us when we can't forgive ourselves. So I thank you for your forgiving grace on the day. I thank you for your saving grace. I thank you for your saving power. I thank you for the blood of Jesus that washes us and cleanses us. Emerge us in your blood on today, oh God, so that when we come up, we look like Jesus. When we come up, we talk like Jesus. When we come up, Lord, we come up a new creature in you. And we can go forward and we can serve you. We can go forward. We can honor you. We can go forward, oh God, and we can worship you, oh God. So I bless you for it right now. Lord, so we forgive the accuser. We forgive those that have hurt us. We forgive those that have afflicted us. Yes, God, we release them today. We release them, God, and we receive you that we can walk in a place of peace. We can walk in a place of forgiveness. So oh God, I bless you on the day that you love us with an everlasting love. I bless you that your word won't return void, but it shall accomplish and it shall prosper and everything that you sent it for. I release the preceding word of God. I release your word on today. I release your sure word on today. I release the authority of your word. I release dominion, authority, and power, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, that this prayer, Lord God, will reach sons and daughters. It'll reach our children. It'll reach our parents. It'll reach our leaders. It'll reach our teachers. It will reach pastors and apostles, prophets, teachers, and evangelists, oh God. I thank you, Lord, that we are stirred up to pray for your people on today. In the mighty name of Jesus. So now, Lord God, we release the word of peace. Oh, yes, yes, we release the word of peace. We release joy in your, the lives of your people on today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, every void and empty, broken, desolate place in our lives, we release the word of peace. We release the word of truth, oh God. We release it in the name of Jesus. We release a word of strength. We release healing, oh God. We release deliverance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, there's power in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. Lord, we release your blood on your people on today because your blood covers, oh God. I bless you for it. We release, oh God, a word of love on today. Lord, Lord, let your love, let your love, let your love rest on us, oh God. Let us abide in that place of love. Let us abide in that place of peace, oh God. Let us yoke up to your word on today because you said your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Now, Father, you be magnified. You be glorified. I thank you for your presence that I feel on today. I thank you for your presence, oh God. I thank you for your presence, Lord, that I feel on today. I thank you for moving, oh God. I thank you because you said in your word that forever, oh Lord, is your word settled. So your word is settled in our lives, oh God. It's settling some issues in our lives. It's settling some circumstances in our lives. It's settling that hurt place, that broken place, that place that we couldn't forgive ourselves. Your word is settling it on the day, oh God. And now we can move in a place of peace. We can move in a place of victory. We can move from that broken, desolate place. And we can move to a place, oh God, that you created for us. Lord, that we can see our victory now. We can see our healing now. We can see our deliverance now. So I bless you for it now. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that you said in your word that it's not by power nor by might, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. So it's by your spirit, oh God, 
that you're moving. It's by your spirit that you've healed. It's by your spirit, oh God, that you've delivered. It's by your spirit, God, that you set free. Now, Father, I thank you that you breathe on this video like never before. You breathe, God. You heal. You deliver. And you bring our children back. Bring them back to the God of Abraham, to the God of Isaac, and to the God of Jacob. We break every generational curse. We break every generational word. And we release the word of faith over and concerning our lives. Now, Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you glory. It is in Jesus' name we declare and we decree victory. Amen and amen. I'm Apostle Esther Sanctions. God bless you. Thank you for sharing, liking, and subscribing. I thank you, Lord, that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, it is acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I am simply an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you with the love of the Lord. Have an amazing day. God bless you.